Hello and welcome to another VCross unboxing today with set number eight, Spread, Spread or Spread Diva. And yeah, this is my, my first box from this set. And yeah, I'm really excited because I I need some some cards for, for building decks. Especially there is like one one blue piece which is pretty pretty good. It's ultra superheroes. This is uh, yeah probably like my favorite my favorite piece from this box and also like some uh, some super rares I would like to get. Oh, we got Eldora X Mark as a PR card. That's cool. I see. I I saw her on on eBay. I think <laughs> I think she's currently into my my shopping cart because I thought she was like a like a tournament promo or something. Because yeah, I, I want to pick up some of the promo cards uh, that I cannot get because there are like no no tournaments in Germany, so I have to to buy the cards, which is a little bit sad. I don't think I can can make Vcross so popular in Germany that we have enough people here for for tournaments, sadly. But yeah, it is what it is. At least I can can play online when I finally have my my decks. Oh, that's a cool artwork, Mamushi Typ 2, number two, and Azure Angel. Freeze up to one target Signy. Okay, for every blue Elric on your field. It's not even that bad because there are a lot of a lot of free stacks with at least. I think two Elrics. I don't uh, with two blue Elrics uh, in the freeze freeze archetype. Okay, we've got uh, failure, failure. So yeah, they put my name on the card. My my parents will be proud. Iona Triangle Maiden Elric, level three. Ray and our first SR is Hirana, Memoria, Crimson Angel Queen. When the Signy is vanished, you may pay two. If you do, put a white or blue Signy from your hand onto your field, downed. Oh, that's not even that bad because you don't have to put the, the Signy from your hand onto the same place. So when she gets vanished and you have like an open lane, you could probably put a signy from your hand into the the open lane. Not that bad, at least in my opinion. But yeah, I still have to to learn a lot. I don't know. Maybe when this video video is live, I have played my my first games online. At the moment, I haven't played. I haven't played Vcross. Just got the. The starter decks, the White Hope deck, and that's a cool, cool artwork. Uh, I got the the White Hope. The yeah, it's a white, white acro deck, or at least you can build it like a pretty aqu pretty acro deck. And I also got the double heroines deck. Uh, after I I played sometimes with the double heroines deck, the latest uh, starter deck. For two players or with with two decks, I will try to to update they a little bit. Maybe I find some some ways to to push them to the limit, and then I will uh, record a video about it and tell a little bit about the uh, the deck strategy or yeah, which cards to replace. But first, I think I should should learn a little bit more how to play the the decks. Another failure. You look down to escape. Uh, assist level 2. Down target Sydney on your opponent's field. So defensive. Oh and then. So you can also pay like 5 Anna and down the other two if they have the total level of 4. So 2 2, two Signies, level 2 Signies or 1 Level 3 and level 1. So the first piece is Death Beam Diva. 
don't remember if there was like a a Uris deck, like a a black starter deck also. Don't remember which piece was in, in this one. Don't maybe there there was this piece. It looks so familiar. Yeah, how about that's uh, uh she's in the starter deck, in the double heroine starter deck too. I really like the artwork. It looks so badass. And yeah, she's pretty strong too. And when an upsignia on your field becomes the target of an ability or effect of your opponent, assist Elric or life burst, you may pay four if you do crush one of your opponent's life claws. So yeah. It's pricey, but I think in the in the end game or when you have some Anna that you need to to spend on something. Yeah, I I'm curious how how often I will be able to to have four Anna that I don't I don't need at the moment, so this effect works, but I've seen her in multiple deck lists, so some people think she's good. <laughs> Iona level 0 and Yusuki. Vanish targets Signion opponent's field with power 8000. Okay. But yeah, the, the ultra superheroes piece is it's really like my, my favorite hit. I have one one more display from, from this set, so it's not like the world goes under if I don't pull her now, but yeah, I really want to start building oh, building decks. So we've got a... Oh, this is really dark. Don't know if this if this artwork is always this dark, but yeah, we've got N, Boon of Brilliance, level 2, Elric. Not my favorite Elric, but I don't think that she sees a lot of play too. Like I spent some times, uh, some time on on V Cross Box or what was the other name, Dexos, and yeah, saw some some deck lists or some often played Elrics, and don't remember seeing like really uh, N a lot of times. Table, Crimson Evil, Crim Crimson Evil. So half of the box. Is gone. Send arrow doomed evil. <laughs> po, po, potato. <laughs> oh yeah, she is like okay. Sometimes they get so creative with the names. Oh yes, and assist Elric. Well, flame dance. What is she doing? Vanish target Sydney on your opponent's field with power of five thousand or less. So. Yeah, probably like a uh, an assist that you play in the second turn. Can only play it in in your in your turn, so that's not so good. But you get coins also. Yeah, maybe I I think there are like some some cards that have a lot of effects with coins, but maybe at some point I will try to build a deck with coins too. Okay, we've got our this is the second no our third third SR Hideyashi Jade General Queen. If an auto enter or action ability of your opponent's Signy activates, you may put two cards underneath the Signy into their owner's trash. If you do the activated ability instead does nothing. This signy would leave the field by your opponent's effect. Instead, you may put two cards underneath the signy. Oh, okay, but I... Yeah, I was asking myself, like, but how do I get signy under this... Uh, this signy, or how do I get cards under the signy? Uh, it's an enter effect, so... I have to... Oh, I need, like, four cards from my inner zone under... The, ah, this doesn't sound... I don't know. I know that like uh, Green hasn't like a lot of strong cards at the moment. 
And this definitely doesn't sound very, very good when you have to spend for, for Anna. For like, uh, basically like two times you can either, you can save her if she gets vanished or you can deactivate or like, uh, basically like counter spell, counter activate. Sounds a bit pricey. Another SR, it's Tamago. Uh, at the end of your turn, draw a card. Okay. At the end of your opponent's turn, your opponent discards a card at, r at random. Oh, that's strong. Oh, she, she sounds very good. I take a sleeve. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, discard effect at random is very, very strong. Uh, usually the opponent can choose which cards to discard. So, of course, he doesn't choose like a, like a guard or something very important. And I can, yeah, when she enters, I can tap her and she gets plus 8,000. So she's like a, like a wall. I think she, she could see play in some control decks with like, uh, yeah, discard effects. She sounds really good. We should get a few more SRs. Two more. Here we get the foil potato fryer. Ah, oh, that's so funny. And yeah, one more, one more piece. And I really hope for the for the blue one. Iona level one. No, it's a blue. It's a, no. It's not a blue one. Or no, it's not a blue one. I thought it's blue, but it's at. Reset Memoria. Draw a card or sign on your opponent's field lose their abilities until end of turn. Hmm. Okay. Cost nothing. I think. I don't know if there are arg arguments to play this. I she this piece like shuts down Axia and some other nasty cards. Don't even think it's that bad, but hmm. not the uh, not not the piece I wanted, but maybe I could see could see uh, that this gets played. We've got Tama Bible. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that. Uh, look at the top seven cards of your deck. Reveal up to one Signy from among them and add it to your hand. So oh, yeah, this could search for, for a servant. Because the, the text doesn't say without a without a G. And yeah, digging like seven cards deep into your deck is not bad, I would say. Can only activate it in, in my turn of of course. Only main phase, not in the Opponent's turn. Midoriko. Phantom Beast. And three. Three more packs. Yeah, I did open a, a Japanese box from the set, but I don't remember which were my pulls. I have to look into my to my collection. Really don't remember. Hanayo. I think she was in one of the decks too. At the beginning of your attack phase, if there are no cards in your inner zone, the base level of the Signy becomes 3 and its base power becomes 12,000. Huh. At the beginning of your attack phase, you may discard a total of 2 red cards or jewel Signy. If you do vanish target Signy, so yeah, she's like a uh, Akro card, aggressive deck. So yeah, the the strategy is to discard my, my hand so she grows to level 3 and then uh, the effect 
to trigger. Right? I can choose. I can choose the order in which these uh, X work. So I can say, like, first I want this one. Or, like, yeah. I don't know. This is, like, a little bit tricky. Like, when I discard the cards, does she instantly becomes level 3? So at the same time, like, when I then choose a Signy, she already crew. That's a little bit tricky. I have to to ask someone who knows a little bit more. Maybe look into the the card text errata. If she like instantly crews to level three while the the second effect is uh, triggering. Hmm. Then I could uh, I could vanish. Uh, Signy with level 3 from my opponent. Hmm. So, last pack for this unboxing. Oh, that's a cool artwork. That would be cool to get in, in foil. And we end with Mamo. Phantom Terror Beast. Captured by some like a mammoth. Where's this? Okay, that's a weird artwork. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. And for more V-Cross unboxings or card unboxing, check out my channel. And see you in my next unboxing. Bye.